Hans Valentin Hube, a prominent German general during World War II, left an indelible mark on military history with his leadership and strategic acumen. Born on 29 October 1890 in Nürnberg und der Seele, German Empire, to Margaret and Richard Hube, he began his military career in 1909 when he volunteered for the Prussian army. Hube's journey through the ranks of the German military would prove to be both eventful and tragic. During World War I, Hube displayed bravery and commitment to his country, earning the Iron Cross Second Class and the Knight's Cross of the House Order of Hohenzollern for his actions during the Race to the Sea and the Battle of Verdun. Despite losing an arm due to injuries sustained in Verdun, Hube's determination was unshaken, and he continued his service during the unstable post-war period with the right-wing Free Corps paramilitary. As the Weimar Republic gave way to Nazi Germany, Hube continued his military career and achieved the rank of Oberst in 1936. When World War II erupted, Hube's prowess as a military leader was put to the test. He participated in the invasions of Poland and France as a regimental commander, gaining valuable experience in armored warfare. It was during the campaign against France that Hube issued a controversial pamphlet expressing his views on the deployment of black and colored troops against the German army, a statement that would later draw criticism. Promoted to commander of the 16th Infantry Division in June 1940, Hube played a significant role in Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. His successes during the campaign earned him the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross and the Oak Leaves for his actions in the Battle of Kiev. Subsequently, he led the 16th Panzer Division during Fall Blau and the pivotal Battle of Stalingrad. Hube's military prowess did not go unnoticed, and he was appointed to command the 14 Panzer Corps during the Soviet counteroffensive known as Operation Uranus. His achievements were recognized when Adolf Hitler personally awarded him the swords to the Knight's Cross with oak leaves on 21 December. 1942. The year 1943 saw Hube's involvement in the Mediterranean Front, where he created Grupp Hube in Sicily, tasked with defending the island against the Allied forces. Hube displayed remarkable skill in organizing the evacuation of troops from the island, a notable success for the Axis powers in a challenging situation. He then played a key role in the defense of positions at Salerno during the Allied Operation Avalanche. In October 1943, Hube was designated commander of the 1st Panzer Army, and in early 1944, he successfully led a breakout operation from the Corson Cherkasy pocket. For his actions in Sicily, Salerno, and the Kainetz Podolsky pocket, Hube received the diamonds to the Knight's Cross and was promoted to the rank of General Oberst. However, tragedy struck on 21 April 1944 when Hube's plane, a Heinkel He 111, crashed shortly after takeoff, leading to his untimely death. His state funeral in Berlin was attended by Adolf Hitler himself, and Hube was laid to rest at the Invalid Cemetery. Beyond his military career, Hube's personal life also had its share of joys and sorrows. He was married twice and had at least two children. His son Ulrich, a lieutenant, was killed on the Eastern Front in 1941, while his daughter Rosemaria married Fritz von Randau, who later changed his name to von Rando Hube to carry on the Hube name. Hans Valentin Hube's legacy as a skilled military leader, and his tragic end in the midst of World War II make him an intriguing figure in history. Despite the controversies surrounding some of his actions, his contributions to German military efforts during the war remain significant, and his memory lives on in the annals of history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.